In this tutorial, we will build an app that is a list of restaurants, and the user will be able to add more restaurants to it. We will integrate a form into the spreadsheet to allow the user to add to the sheet through the app. This is the first video in a two-part series, and in the second video we will use the script editor to allow different users to rate the restaurants. Okay, so starting out with a new project, the first thing we're going to do is add a label to just say add a restaurant. Then we'll have a text box underneath for the user to enter in the name of the restaurant and then a spinner for the rating. So I'll just make the possible ratings 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The prompt will be rating. Then we'll need a submit button. And finally, a list view to show all of the restaurants in the app. And I'm just going to switch this to a white background and black text color. And then we'll also need to add a web to read the Google Sheet that will store the restaurants. And then one more web to add more restaurants to the Google Sheet. So I'll just change this to web1 for reading and web2 for adding. So now just create a new Google Sheet and the first thing we're going to do is go under tools and click create a form since this will allow App Inventor to be able to add things to the spreadsheet of restaurants. And for some reason this never works when I'm recording but this should make a new tab at the bottom that says form responses one. So now we're going to go to form, edit form, and we're going to make the first question short answer for the name. And we're going to add another question short answer for the rating. So now if we go back to our Google Sheets, we'll see that the form responses one sheet has a timestamp, a name, and rating columns. So now let's go to share and get shareable link. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the last video, where we copy the link and change the last part to export question mark format equals CSV. Okay, so having copied that link, let's go back to the App Inventor blocks page and we'll say when screen one dot initialize set web one for reading dot URL to the link that we just made. So now we can call web1 for reading dot get. And when web1 for reading dot got text, we want to do something with the response content, which will be the CSV table. So let's go to lists, list from CSV table text. And we're going to set that to a global variable, which I'll call restaurants list, which for now will be an empty list. And then we'll set restaurants list to the list from the Google Sheet. But since the first item in the restaurants list is now the row with the headings, timestamp, name, and rating, let's remove the first element from the restaurant list. And now we can set the elements of the list view to our restaurants list. Alright, so now let's make it so that the user can add more restaurants to the list by clicking the submit button. So when button1.click, we're going to call 
web2 for adding. So first we'll set the URL to another link. So this time we're going to use join and the first part of the link is going to come from the form. So form edit form and then we're going to go over to get prefilled link. So copy this first part without the prefill and paste it into the first part of the join and then after the slash type form response and then we need to tell the form what the entries will be. So going back to the prefilled link if we just type in X and Y and get the link, copy the link and just paste it over here, we can see that there are these entries. So here's the first entry for the name. Then type equals. So then the next part of the link will come from our text box, which will have what the user typed in for the name of the restaurant they want to enter. And then for the rating entry, the entry address comes from the second part. So copy that and paste it into our join text. And so our rating comes from the spinner. So spinner dot selection. Okay, so now we can just call web2 for adding dot get. And then we want to make sure that once the restaurant gets added to the Google Sheet, we refresh the list view so that it appears. So when web2 for adding dot got text, we'll call web1 for reading dot get. And actually, a couple more things we need to do are that for the first entry it actually has to be a question mark instead of an ampersand and in case the user enters any special characters into the name we need to encode that text okay so to test it out I'll just type in McDonald's give it a five star rating click submit it appears in the Google Sheet and it appears in the list view.